Cardboard. I've been obsessed with the stuff since I wrote my dissertation on the Container Corporation of America, a cardboard maker that commissioned Bauhaus art instead of conventional advertising in the 1950s, pioneering innovation through diversity. I was furious to learn they merged with UK cardboard company Smurf at Kappa, shamed in April's Investment Association Gender Diversity Report for their all-male executive board. This had to change. Smurf at Kappa would only listen if their stock price was threatened, if shareholders realised lack of female representation jeopardised their investments. After all, diverse boardrooms increased profitability by over 50%. To get word out, I started Women on Board. Putting women on cardboard to fight lack of gender equality in the boardroom. Using cardboard to name and shame Smurf at Kappa. First, I made a website outlining the problem. Following Container Corporation's legacy, I rallied artists from around the world to submit their women on board on Instagram, creating an online gallery. Then I infiltrated Londoners' daily lives. I stuck interactive plaques on the tube and took to the streets armed with placards, asking the public how they like their boards, with women on them or falling apart. Which one of these boards do you prefer? I write. Could you say that boards are better with women on them? Then, I went overboard. I drove a cardboard covered car around the city's financial district, rallying support as we drove. Our antics didn't go unnoticed. The Independent interviewed me for a feature about women on board. Social justice platform Global Citizen picked it up, calling it a global movement. I wrote a guest post for feminist blog The F Word. Women's Equality co-founder Catherine Mayer pledged her support, while Guilty Feminist host Deborah Francis White retweeted my video. To seal the deal, I sent cardboard plaques to Smurf at Gappa's biggest investors, directing them to the online gallery. I was after long-term change. Smurf at Gappa, how have I affected your stock price? It's up to you.